Hey guys, it's Josh. Welcome back, and I hope you're doing well. So on my last video, I showed a great run down Lombard Street here in San Francisco on FSD Beta version 10.8. In the interest of transparency and fairness, I want to show all the testing I did that day unedited. On the first run here, there were multiple interventions, so you're going to want to check that one out at least. And let's get into it. Here we go. As you can see, it's quite trafficy and touristy. This was filmed on December 30th, uh, which was a Thursday. So no problem with the first turn. And a little jerky there on the second turn, but it's okay. And here you can see people walking uh, into traffic. And I did decide to take over. Just where it's so hard to see around the corner, I don't want to rely on the FSD system. Um, it definitely wasn't necessary to take over, but I always err far on the case of safety. And now handing back over to the FSD system. So let me know what you think in the comments if I should have taken over there or not. I know a lot of other testers wouldn't have had to take over, but particularly with pedestrians, I err far on the side of caution. And it's a bit of a jerky experience overall, but probably not any more jerky than say an Uber driver would be, your average Uber, Uber driver. And coming to the end here, and you can see we really had no issues other than that intervention I had to do. All right, now the second attempt is the same as my previous video. So if you've already seen that, go ahead and skip ahead. And the second attempt is kind of nice because I remembered to make the visualization full screen. So that's really cool, a new feature with version 10.8. This first corner is actually a bit more difficult than it looks because there's cars parked on the right, you can see on the visualization, but no problem there. And I do wonder if the BMW coming out of the driveway biased the system to turn right. Traditionally, the system has struggled there and tried to go into the driveway, but uh, as you can see, none of the attempts did that this time. Hi, I'm Rosie. While we have a second, I wanted to mention, if you like this content, a great way to support the channel is to share with someone you know. Sharing the video externally helps small channels like Josh's immensely. Bye bye Yes, thanks Rosie, exactly. So one thing to note in this part <laughs> of the trip, look on the visualization how far the system can see. We think that's probably map data, but I can assure you the car can't see through multiple turns like what's visualized there. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, we finished with no problem. So that's two down. <laughs> and on to the third attempt. And still quite traffic on this attempt as well. Unfortunately, I forgot to full screen the Viz. But I did turn off the side camera with blinker option for better or worse. 
while I was doing this testing, I pointed the mirrors down so that I could see the rear wheel in relation to the curb. And the car was very careful around the curbs because I was worried about curb rash, but it did a great job avoiding the curbs. And you can see we're lurching our way along here. And still lurching along. And you can see it really wants to go into the driveway with the Instagrammers, but finally decides to turn right. So let me know what you think about that. Was it the Instagrammers that caused it to turn right, or did it do the correct thing? So while we've got a minute, I'm just going to mention that I do plan to go back to Lombard Street late at night and I'm going to try to, I'll do a run personally as quickly as possible within reason and then I'll do several runs with FSD system and see how quickly uh, the FSD system can do and, and we'll see how the night affects Lombard Street. That was actually uh, an idea from someone on Reddit I believe. And we're yeah, just making our way down. Lots of people on the sidewalk, lots of cars. I hope you guys find this kind of content interesting. Um, I just want to be very transparent in terms of what I'm doing with testing. Previously, I've done a intervention supercut where I showed only the interventions from a full day of testing that I wouldn't normally show on camera. And yeah, getting to the end here. So yeah, made it to the end, no problem that time either. The only interventions we had were on the first run and they were just me erring on the side of caution. So that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Cheers.